garlic powder, guys. This is how we doing this chicken with this garlic powder, lemon pepper. black pepper and a little season salt Okay guys, and we're going to put these potatoes on until they are pork tender. I cook this for a few minutes on each side and I don't want them all the way done because you know chicken do not take long to get done. We just want that flavor that we're going to get for this casserole. And look, we're going to add our bell peppers and onions in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook, guys. We're going to let this cook until our vegetables are a little soft. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm going to let these onions caramelize a little bit and you can use as many bell peppers or onions that you like guys um, but this right here is a small bell pepper and a half of a large um, onion yellow onion so we're gonna let this caramelize See that little nice brown color we got on there so this is ready now so the next step is we're gonna put A teaspoon and a half of garlic in here. We also gonna put our chicken in here, guys. Okay. We put our chicken in here. We also gonna put one can of Rotel in here and we drain the juice guys one can of Rotel now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook a little bit guys and then we will be back going in here with some smoked paprika I wish you guys can smell this. I'm going to add one can of cream of mushroom. Now don't knock this guy. It might not be the prettiest thing. But I'm going to tell you something. This some taste good right here. This is some taste good right here. I'm gonna put just a little cream of onion in here as well. And we're gonna let this cook for a bit and we will be back added a um, half a teaspoon uh, wait one fourth teaspoon I am so sorry one fourth teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and I also added a little more 
um, garlic powder. So listen, I know what y'all saying. Can't be this ain't cute at all. Nope. But guess what? I taste it. And it is tasting magnificent. So listen guys, I'm telling y'all, just wait for the finale. Wait for the finale. Let's go on over to the countertop. Alright guys, so now we're going to pour this over in this pan. Pour it over in this pan and we're going to set it to the side while we get the potatoes together. So our potatoes, they are together and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little salt, white salt because you know potatoes love salt, a little pepper. Add a little garlic powder, garlic salt. I mean garlic. And we also want to add some parsley. As much as you like, guys. Now we're going to add a little sour cream. I'll say that's about half a cup. We're going to get these potatoes mashed up and we will be back. So now, I'm going to put another couple of tablespoons of salt in there. I mean butter. And this is to you guys taste, you know. And I don't want it all, I want it to have some little chunks to it because I like eating potato. So listen, now we're going to add our cheese. This is sharp cheddar. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit of taste. All right. The mashed potato where we need it to be. I'm gonna put a little paprika on there. All right. Now remember our chicken, guys? Put a little cheese on it. Here we go. Now my oven is set at 350 degrees. We're gonna cook these potatoes. We're gonna cook these in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. This is our mashed potato chicken casserole okay I think it's enough cheese guys but I'm just gonna put half of the casserole with cheese because my family love cheese and I want to taste it as well so I'm only doing half and they can cry if they want to if it's good to them they'll eat it without the cheese all right we'll be back Are you done with this? Well, oh. give me a little piece. All 
Let me see. This is the finished product. We have eaten it, as y'all can see. It's really good, guys. So thank you for tuning in to Amy B's Kitchen. More videos are to come. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. May you have peace and have a good day.